Good day guys, welcome back to my YouTube and today we're going to be doing a couple of things actually. I want to look over this um, Starfield. Nick sent me a link before and he said, hey guy, he said, hey Dan, look at Starfield, maybe you could review it. And I said, I already reviewed it. He said, yeah, but not this one. Not this one. This one's a 15 minute game trailer of gameplay. So I want to quickly look it over. See what my initial thoughts are, because I am looking forward to it. I don't know if it's going to be like a massive hype for me, because I'm not really into space games. I'm into Star Wars, but not really into space games. I played EVE Online for a while, and that just annoyed me, man. That just... I mean, I think it was more because of all the pay-to-win shit inside of it, you know, buying spaceships and stuff, and... Oh, you know, and it just... It was a cool game, but it's just not for me. Did not like uh, EVE Online. Right, there we go. Let's have a look at this trailer. So this is on the official Bethesda YouTube channel. The wonder is not that the field of stars is so vast, but man has measured it. Okay. That's an actual quote. Bethesda Studios. Yeah, this one has got a bit of hype behind it. It's hard to express how excited all of us at Bethesda are to be here with you today. We are so grateful you're spending the time and we know you've waited a long time to finally see Starfield. Uh, it's easily our most ambitious game ever. Like our previous games, it's an epic role-playing game. You get to be who you want and go where you want. But this time, you'll be exploring space. So let's jump right in. This is early in the game as you arrive on the mysterious moon of Crete. So it's going to be kind of like Skyrim, but in space, right? You've got like this mysterious moon of Crete. I mean, I remember walking at this in the reaction trailer and it looked amazing. Like the graphics are next level. This Unreal Engine 5 is, you know, going to push things so far. So they May 23rd. Crete Moon. Let's see. Let's see. Spaceship over the moon itself. Okay. So is that a drone or is that like a like one of those? According uh, to the scanners, the abandoned research facility is in this direction. Kind of got a fallout thing going on with the user interface. Right, so you're not playing as a robot, you're playing as a human. Interesting monsters there, right? It's a very controlled demo, isn't it? Very controlled.
So they're just showing us what you can and can't do there. You know, we've got we've got resource gathering, getting experience for discovering lo locations. It would crash appear ship over. that pirates of the Crimson Fleet are using the facility. <laughs> so it's fall damage. Takes fall damage in the trailer. So just seeing that there, right? I just got to stop it there. So just seeing that there, I'm hoping that it's got the Fallout difficulty system, right? Do you remember how the, how the difficulty system works in Fallout um, 4? Where you could shoot them in critical areas and stuff and it would do more damage. I'm hoping it's not like the Skyrim difficulty system where it's like, oh, we're just, we're just going to be like bullet sponges, right? Because like the, the Fallout had such a good difficulty setting, you know, more realistic. The harder mode you set on, the more realistic it was. I hope they go down that route, because that just looked like, he looks like he's on a casual mode, he's on, like, normal mode. He, just, he took some bullet bullet damage. It, it's obvious that the enemies have got level-up systems. It's obvious that you've got a level-up system, so let's see how that works out. It's interesting to see that. So, like I've just said, like, we're bullet sponging there because of our level grenade. So he's got CO2 and oxygen levels down there, I've noticed on his little radar thing. interesting way of unlocking things like like it's not so much like the key system like it were in like the lockpick system like it is on all the others but it it was it was just like that with a tweak right and depending on like the level of your it skill it looks like it depends on how easy or hard they are i think they actually wanted to add difficulty to that Guy's taking no cover whatsoever. He's just bullet sponging everything, right? He's, he's just tanking everything. I would like to see a bit more tactical if it's gonna be a good person. Like Halo is fun, right? But even on Halo, what makes Halo so fun on some of the levels is like if you put it on the higher difficult levels, you've got to be a bit more tactical. I would like to see that rather than him just be like eating bullets. So he's got the black pack, so why did he take fall damage before? I think he died there. After some initial encounters, you're invited to join Constellation, who, in the future the game is set in, are the last group of space explorers. Okay. To meet them, you'll head to the capital city of New Atlantis. So very fallout driven. Do you know what I'm getting from it, actually? You, you, now I think about it, do you know what I'm getting from it? No Man's Sky. That's the vibe. Is anybody else getting that vibe from this? No Man's Sky vibe? That's definitely what I'm getting here. A No Man's Vibe sky, uh, vibe from it. Absolutely 100% No Man's Sky. Very commercial looking. NNSS. Droids. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. We're all here because we're committed to the biggest question of all. What's out there? What indeed? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. As to what they are, what they're building. You'll be part of solving that puzzle now. Very cool. So, you found something? A new guy found it. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? 
The artifact you found appears to be one of many, scattered across the galaxy. If we can find more, we can unlock their secrets. Beautiful, isn't it? The man who sold me this told me that it spoke to him. Of course, the Settled Systems is full of groups with other priorities. That's the Crimson Fleet! Everybody get ready! The fleet doesn't follow the rules. Agree to work for UC Sister. Together, we take down these cutthroat pirates. I want to join the pirates. Does anybody else want to join the pirates? I do. I'd want to join the pirates, man. Like, I want to have that freedom. I don't want to join the, like... Oh, this is the uh, the the United Nations Space Galactic, you know, fun police. You know, I, I want to have the option to join any faction in the game. Just like, oh, that faction looks cool. That faction looks cool. And also, I'd like it to dramatically alter the story. Like, insanely alter the story if it's just like, you know, joining factions and stuff. Because, like, you could join different factions in Fallouts, in the Fallout games, but ultimately you still ended up at the same result in a weird way. But, yeah, I, I kind of want to be... I want it to be so free where it's just, you know, you decide and you decide. So that would be cool to see. But so from what we can gather from the story so far is it's got artifacts. They're giving you visions. You're exploring really really vigorously to find them and then you've got these counter pirates on the way to stop you every step of the way so that's where your main enemy comes from you know do you think they're gonna go down a halo vibe with the uh flood do you remember the flood happened in halo and you got all the aliens coming after you and stuff maybe we're gonna stumble upon to that as well we're not just here to shoot the bad guys we're peacekeepers we protect the people of the free star collective we're fun police when you sign up with the crimson fleet no one we, quits. We don't want you to do the only way fucking out nothing. Is death. The path ahead may be dangerous. But we are not stopping. Most Dusties don't even make it this far. Because whatever lies at the end of this road will change your Wow, humanity. that was pretty cool. Forever. That gives you a look at the stories in Starfield. But ultimately, it's not our story. It's the story you create by who you are and the choices you make. And that starts with character creation. Nice, let's have a look at this. This is really interesting. It's our most flexible yet. You can customize all the elements of how you look. Nice. I like that. You'll pick a background that gives you three starting skills. It says here you spend some time as a diplomat. Having a way with words might prove useful. There are optional traits, and these come with unique advantages and disadvantages. But it's not just in how you can look, but in how your character plays and develops. Nice. That's going to lead to some good role-playing. The role skill system playing. combines the best from our previous games, and you can unlock new skills as you level up, and then you rank those skills up by using them and completing challenges. And there's deep crafting systems, from running research projects with resources you find, to crafting weapon mods needed to survive. Do you think they're gonna have the uh, scary Mayan dagger glitch, where you could just like create like a bog standard pistol over and over and over again, so you can max it out? Like that, that'd be pretty funny. But that character creation thing, man, that looked pretty. That looked pretty good. The story kind of thing, a lot of replayability and that kind of stuff. you can build your own outposts. These act as a home away from home for survival and resource generation. You can choose where and how to build each one, and you can hire characters you meet to keep it up and running. So they've been listening to the community about the uh, building stuff. All. You can even build your own spaceships. Nice. That is gonna have a lot of people hooked. So outpost building and spaceship building. Oh man, that is phenomenal. Can you imagine? Can you imagine some of the some of the ships people are gonna build? 
I'm excited to see that just that. I'd watch that stuff, man. You know, like look how look how creative people were on other games that you could allow you to build, like Valheim and, and Ark and Conan Exiles and stuff like that. Like not only can you build your own outpost, you can now build your own spaceship. How fucking cool is that? That is that is pretty cool, in my opinion. That you know, they've been listening to the fans on that one and they've, they've been paying attention to the communities. And stuff, and then let's hope they've got the console commands as well, like the in like Skyrim and Fallout and stuff, so people can and do all that. Like, do you remember the sanctuary challenges that people used to do? Try and restore sanctuary in uh, Fallout. This is you know Fallout with the building was phenomenal as well. So let's see what they can do with this. That's that's interesting news. I like that. That's positive. It it does look like a No Man's Sky clone thrown in with with Fallout elements in it, but yeah, I don't know. It's it looks. I mean, I think it's exciting. You can choose crew members. Cool. I hope you can. Yes, the you can completely members. customize the look and layout. Yes, look at this. There's loads of different modules, ship manufacturers, and more. I have to say, it's so cool. We just absolutely love this. Yeah, I do too, man. I think that's really cool. I, I hope people build Millennium Falcons. It's not just and... how the ship looks, it's how it performs. From engines to shields to weapon systems. Because yes, you can fly it. Thrusters boosted. Give me goosebumps when he said that. Like it. Again, it's very No Man's Sky-ish, but yeah, like that. Like it. I wonder how big the map is, man. Here we go. Next question. Next question. Is it multiplayer? Does it have a multiplayer function? Because that, to me, screams PvP. That screams PvP to me, right? That's, it's got to be like... The game just looks like a movie in the, these days. Yeah, it does, doesn't it, right? Incredible. But that, to me, just screws PvP, you know? Like, the only thing that could make that now better is if, like, not only can you go on this adventure on your own, build your own ship, build your own, build your own space station, but you can also bring your friends along for the ride. You know? That'd be the icing on the cake. Dodgy, I'm already like, you know, I'm not even playing it. Oh man, that was dangerous. The chances of surviving a meteor shower are 300 million for 530 to 1. Never told me the odds. Oh, big, big mode. <laughs> he just got smashed. So I wonder if we can breach a board. Exciting. We can't wait for all of you to experience the game. Thanks again for being with us today, and thanks for all the support you've given us over the decades, especially on this game. It's been an incredible journey for us making it, but we know that's really only the beginning for it's when all of you play it, that the real journey begins. He has no and idea, does he? You may be wondering, just how big is this game? Yeah, yeah. So we thought we'd take one last moment and show you. Let's take a look at one of our planets, Jemison. One of our planets. You can land into Atlantis, but you can also land and explore anywhere on the planet. And it's not just this planet, it's all the planets in the system from barren but resource-heavy ice balls to Goldilocks planets with life. And not just this system, but over a hundred systems. Over 1,000 planets. 
wow you know i that, i just almost had like an anticlimactic like dip i was like cool planet just looks big oh is that, is that it is it just those those planets there but then it was like not just this system a hundred systems i like how they're using the terminologies like godlock zone and stuff like that's like you know that's what earth is in the godlock zone where life is abundant oh man i yeah let's hope they don't bring it in a broken state let's hope they don't bring it out in a broken state please polish this game up please release it in a full state all oh. open for you to explore we can't wait to see what you find i'm excited i'm excited now when's it coming out give me a date next year but but you it's next year Oh, look, they have the Mars rover. Wow, it's good, man. Looks good. Oh, okay. Looks very good. So that little, that little cut scene there just makes me feel like, you know, um... It, it was like you can fly your ship but not on planet you can fly your ship but not on world so it's getting the ship takes off it's an auto scene flies out into the you know into the unknown then you take control of your ship that's the kind of that's the kind of impression i got from that just then very very cool i like it i like that release date show me tell me 2023 xbox pc and cloud xbox game pass play on game pass straight away holy shit holy shit pc game pass xbox game pass steam very good I'm going to be joining their Twitter page. I'm going to be keeping my eye on that game. That, that I'm impressed. You know, I, I, I kind of hyped up when I first saw the trailer, then I just shut down because I thought, you know what? I'm overhyping this kind of stuff. It's it's not going to be as good as I expect it. But let me know in the comments down below, guys, what you thought of that. I thought that was fantastic. It's got me excited. It got me, it gave me the, those uh, gamer tingles. You know, that like, it made me feel like, whoa, my imagination's already going. I'm going to build this outpost. I want to build this fucking spaceship here. I'm going to be the baddest mofo in the galaxy man and you know and you know i felt like anakin skywalker you know a young anakin when he just looked at the thing and he's talking to qui-gon he's like how many planets is there and he's like i don't know anakin he's like has anyone ever been to them all <laughs> not likely i want to be the first one to find them all i want to be the first one to see them all i i got them vibes i got them vibes from it that was cool i like that you know I'm going to be keeping my eye on that. I'm going to go join their Twitter page. I'm going to keep some news up on that stuff. So, yeah. Awesome. Very awesome.